Hello, everyone. I just want to thank everybody for your responses and comments on my uh, the last few videos that I made. And this is an unboxing video. And uh, it's going to be quite interesting. I got a few different uh, stuff that I'm very excited about. And uh, I did uh, catch a few newcomers who just, who just got into precious metals. Um, and uh, so I'm going to make another video very soon um, about what they should be looking for in precious metals and all areas of precious metals. This is my uh, total true outlook of all styles of, of uh, silver. And uh, it's not just going to be just uh, low mintage coins, lunar series, it's going to be buoyant and all that stuff. And uh, what I truly believe from my experience, what I've seen and what I got burned and everything else and the people that have been saying here on YouTube and all that stuff is going to be coming up very, very soon. It's going to be very knowledgeable and very, very helpful for those newcomers um, to stay away and don't get brainwashed any certain words and things that people here say all the time on YouTube to make you believe that buying a certain coin is going to be making you a millionaire, save you for a paradigm shift and all that type of stuff. But anyway, so let's get to this unboxing. So I got quite a few. I got five boxes here. So, I waited for everything to come together so I can do this one unboxing. And uh, I kind of feel sorry for this one guy. The first guy who sent it, he was like, Oh, can you give me a feedback? I said, Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm doing unboxings and I got a few other coins coming in. I, and I'll give you a feedback once I see the coin and then make sure it's, it is the way it should be. And he understands and that was that. And uh, so that's why he didn't get the feedback right away. But he'll get it tonight after I see his coin and everything looks like it should. So, let's see what this one is. Alright. I hear the little rattler. Hmm. That's an odd little. Put this in that. And shift it out in this. Okay. Alright. I grabbed one of these for actually... It was, I paid probably about a dollar to, well, probably about two dollars over. Um, it's one of those things that you buy at the moment that you want. Uh, it's a half ounce dragon. I don't have any dragons. And there's the half ounce sign right there. I'm sure you got, everybody knows this, so I'm not going to get too detailed into it. Most of you guys got a ton of these or had them, flipped them already, who knows. Um, I wanted to have one because I never had one before, and I have a two ounce dragon. And, uh,. And I bought that 2-ounce dragon before I even knew what Lunar Series coins were. And that's why I ended up getting it, because I just wanted a 2-ounce coin. And that happens to be the only bullion that I had since the whole two and a half years I purchased that went up in value. I broke even on selling both of my uh, Mount Rushmores. That's the only bullion that I was that I broke even, that I did not lose 60 to 70% of my value on it, was my Rushmore coins. So I paid $22, $21 for this. It was $20 and $1 shipping, okay? And I got another guy in line that'll sell me another 10 of these for $18, but I'm hesitant. I'm not too sure uh, if I want to do that. They have the highest mintage so far of half ounce, uh, but I might. These are pretty pretty nice looking. I just might, I might say, listen, I'll do 17 again, see, see if I can low ball them again. Who knows? But it's just one of those things when you're online and you're itching to buy a coin, you know you're paying a little too much. You just don't happen to care that day because you just want it that day. And that's like one of those days for me where you're willing to pay a dollar or two more for a coin because you want it that day. And then two days later, what do you know? I found another guy who just popped up with a whole bunch of them for uh, $2 cheaper and maybe three if I wanted to buy a roll of 20 because he has a roll of 20 of them. So I don't want to buy 20 of them. I like to buy 10 of each and just so I can spread out all different years. I want all the newer years basically so i probably will buy 10 of them just to have them because you never know in a couple years it it could be a 25 hour coin in a few years even though it's a high mintage don't know these things go up so eventually it's going to because they are very popular coins the dragons if not the popular mintage wise anyway so what do we got in here i don't need that let's make sure that should be all that is all right, this is pretty well wrapped here. <coughs> just give me a second here, people. You guys know it. Sometimes it's why it's better off just showing a coin before you do the unboxing. 
takes you forever to get them out. Watch out, Ryan. I got the camera right there. Ooh, it's okay. Just be careful. Now, I told you I was going to keep buying them all, right? Every time I see them online. Another half ounce dragon. Excuse, you excuse me, tiger. Me up? No, no, don't touch. You, you want it up? No, just watch TV now. Okay. Say, Ryan, you're, you're messing my camera up here. Half ounce tiger. Got another one. I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for this coin. It's a steal. Okay, got it on a on a bid about 3 a.m. one day because I saw it, it was it was at uh, 22 dollars with five minutes to go. I was like, damn, I'm staying up or like excuse me, two hours to go. It's like, all right, this may be something nice. So I stayed up, watched a few TVs, stayed at 22, stayed up 22. So okay, I'll put $35 from max bid at the last five seconds. I won it for 28 bucks. Fine deals. Half ounce. $28. They're there. So stay away from those half ounce tigers. I'm going, I'm going to beat you every time on the bid. <laughs> They're mine. I'm going to corner the market on these things. I'm going to get all 50,035 of them before I die. That's my goal. I'm, and I'm going to bury all of them but one. I'm going to give my son one. So, the next one here. Let's see. What is this good boy? All right, this out of the way, clean this up. Yeah. Careful, Ryan, please go outside. Please, please just yeah. watch TV before I turn it off on you. Yeah. I bought the half ounce rabbit. I would have bought the roll of 10, but you only had one left. 25 bucks. One of the lower mantis is in a low, I think it's 140, 120. I, I didn't quite look at my uh, paperwork, but it's around there. Okay. I'm gonna save my biggest unboxing for last. Now this one, I'm excited. This is my first actual, close this door here. Sorry for that little disturbance with my son. Everybody should know if they got kids, it's hard to make videos with three year olds around. This one, was a trade, my first silver trade. Uh, I think New Jack Silver asked me, "Would you do you want to trade some of your tigers, your half ounce tigers, for uh, a half ounce proof horse?" I thought about it, and thought about it, and I said, "Okay, I love the tigers a lot, and uh, I felt bad doing it because I love them so much, but." I really love the horses, and I'm going to be getting plenty of these half-ounce tigers. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. He wants a tiger. I want. I love the horses. I want the horse. So now I'll have another proof horse besides my kilo horse. And so it was an outstanding deal. It was a perfect value deal. And even in the future, the both are probably going to appreciate very, very well in the future. Um, I think if anybody's going to appreciate more, it just may be the tiger a little bit more, if any. Like I can see that tiger going 100 bucks in about 7, 10 years. Really good. So let's see here. Get this box open here. Get that tape off. There's a little box. Right there. Look at that. Right there. I open this bad boy up. Nice little case. No coin! No! <laughs> oh, that's. I gotta do that. Let's see here. No little lip for the hands. Hmm, of Perth, Perth Mint didn't do that for me to take it out. I'll worry about that later. There it is. Half ounce proof horse. Beautiful looking coin. I like that. That's nice. That was very nice. New Jack, Tiger's on the way. 
If it makes you feel better, I'll, I'll send you the one that I paid $44 for, not the one I just paid $28 for. <laughs> if you wanted to, if that makes you feel better. So there. Um, yeah, that's nice. Okay, let me move on. I'll enjoy this later on. Oh, 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 wait more before I move on. Let's see what serial number it is. 1,079. Could have been number one, huh, buddy? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Maximum Vintage 9000. Done deal. Got my course now. Thank you for asking for that trade. I actually, I'm very happy I did that now, to be honest. I was hesitant in the beginning, but once I 100% confirmed it and you send it, I felt good. I was like, alright, that's cool, man. I'm getting a proof coin. You know, even though I'm giving up one of my favorite Lunars, but I'm getting one that I also enjoy a lot, too. So, thank you. I almost wanted to do two now, but I'm, I'm happy with one. So now, my big bad boy. Now this, if it's true and real, the guy came from Germany and he was a big dealer. So it's not like an average Joe that was selling this. And he basically had it online for an auction. And as I was saying, that this is purchased for like $80, $90 cheaper than what it normally would be going for if you bought it on any <clears throat> precious metal dealership online anywhere so I'm hoping this is the regular one I mean not the regular one and it's the proof because then I made then I made out like a bandit but if it's not I just embarrassed myself in this video and I gotta send it back to Germany with me paying for it so let me go see here, please, please be real, please, 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 my heart is pumping people, I, I, that's what I hate about getting really, really good deals, because I'm just not sure if it's going to be the real thing, or somebody's just trying to pull up a scam, but it was an auction, so I was like, he could have been, he could have got three, four hundred bucks for this, so it's probably most likely real. Uh, he should have put a reserve, but he didn't put a reserve, so hey, you probably assumed it was going to go for at least 300 bucks. But it didn't. I bought it for 200 This is what I bought for $200. The Year of the Goat 3 coin proof set. Now, the real point, did he take out the real proof 3 coins in there and put the regular boy in it? That's what I'm worried about. Screw this American. If he got just thrown 200, I'm going to give him regular boy in. He may not even know the difference. Oh, boy. Here's the moment of truth. Yes. They are the proofs. There's a, they're hard to get out, too. Huh? That's, like, that's like about my kilo coin. At least gave you a thumb hole so you can pop it out a little bit um, this one gave you no know, this is like they're really tight in there so that's pretty hard to, to do so yes this is legit no ins if buts about it this is the coin so I'm very lucky on that come on and he gave me no but anyway I'll worry about that later. Let's see. Mintage number 81. For $200, people. $200. Outstanding deal. And you know, I could put this back on eBay for $300 or $250 or $280 or something. I'll probably wait a while. But I will sell it for money and flip it. But that's not my object on these coins. Oh Careful, boo. I'm, I'm making... Uh, we watch TV. I'll be right out. I'll make some popcorn for us. Hmm? So that is what I got for you guys today. This is my unboxing for the day. And I'm going to show you two other things online before we go here. I'm going to make this a quick video. I know the other videos were four minutes, 40 minutes long. And I had to make it two parts automatically. That's it. 
three coin proof one half ounce tiger half ounce robin and a half ounce dragon so that is that now I'm gonna go for one other thing because I I was thinking about silver slacker here and uh, I went online from the guy who I bought this tiger off of okay just went on there on today actually just now before just to see if he has any more of these I can bid on maybe I can grab another one so um, but I, he doesn't have any more so this is what I found found something for you silver slacker it's very very expensive and you're the man that knows about this stuff it's gotta be very expensive uh, this is your style you know this is your territory you know about this the three ounce angle hard silver bar vintage pour you're the poor bar guy with vintage look at that for three ounces hundred and eighty four dollars and there's still three days left to bid on it so it's got to be something valuable because there's already 21 people who bid on this I don't know anything about this bar this is your category if this thing is worth a lot more than uh, like what's that $70 an ounce like over $200 for this bar it might go to after three days um, so I just wanted to show that out to you um, just in case you're interested in that because I know you like to buy your silver as cheap as price as possible but I don't know if this was something that you always were looking to get or if it ever popped up and you we're willing to pay such a high premium for a bar. Um, so I just wanted to, I thought about you when I saw this, okay? There's another five ounce there. Okay, first generation bull, whatever that's all about. So you may, this is your territory. So this is why I thought about you. And he's got a whole bunch of other silver stuff here that you guys want to check out. And here's his uh, site right there. That's his name, and Lieb too. So, uh, if you want to go there and check out his bars there, Silver Slacker or anybody else, feel free. So that's why I wanted to show you that. And I'm going to do one more thing here because I had a funny story that happened to me. I sold one of my Mount Rushmore's to the wrong house. The guy bought a five ounce uh, Scottsdale bar for me. And then, and then five days later, I send him the Mount Rushmore coin because I put down the wrong address. And a guy lived in, New in the same town or the same uh, state as I do. So I was like, listen, I'll go to pick it up. Well, that was a far ride. It was in the other part of, of my state. Um, he says, no problem. You know, I understand. I'm a dealer. No problem. If you want to send it back, I'll send it back. I said, thank you very much. He goes, I'll just refuse the order. And then I told him what it was and uh, and see if he wanted to buy it for $120. Because I sold it to the person for $150 that was supposed to get it. So I took the $30 cut instead of me getting it back and then me having to reship it to him for another five hours for priority mail and then have to sell another one on ebay for all those other fees that they take and uh he's all right well let me take a look at it he goes i don't know those things go for about 120 bucks on ebay anyway and i said well not anymore they're 150 higher he goes really you said yeah man i said go on ebay now he went on there saw the higher prices and said all right i'll take a look at it took a look at it and says all right i'll send you 120 to paypal now and boom did coin says so I told him for being a nice guy and not taking my uh, five ounce Mount Rushmore and just running away with it, he uh, at least said he would return it and uh, until I uh, offered him to purchase it to make it even an easier transaction. And he did. So I'm going to promote his channel. And uh, he has a whole bunch of stuff, not just bullion. He has Frank Maloney. Go figure. That's, his fun that's a funny last name, right? Uh, as, as a, That's his inside thing, uh, Frank. If you're watching his video, nothing... Uh, Nothing against you. And just as a guy, Mike Maloney here, that I kind of have a thing for now. Premium. This is what he's... He sells a few things. He sells a one-ounce bars. I'll pass it away. I'll get back to it again. But he's... If you guys are into the U.S. Mint box with two, uh, two 13 Eagles. Okay. Comes with a custom box and all that stuff. Um, he sold six of them already. There's only one left for 120 bucks, Or make offer. But he really wants to do that if you bought more than one. But he has one left, I'm sure. The price is right. Money talks. Also with free shipping. Um, free check it out. And uh, very beautiful coin. You can go stroll down. He talks all about it. Okay, about the, what the mint does and everything about that. The high quality Velcro pillow. The high gloss, 
display box, show masterpiece, and stuff like that. Um, so anybody wants that, feel free to get in touch with him again. Frank Mello, and he has a whole bunch of other stuff. It's like all house items that you may need and stuff like that. So it's not just, he's just not, doesn't sell the bullion. Um, he has MCM bars right there. He's got 10 of them available for 187 so he wants um eighteen dollars and seventy cents each for the mcm and he has a pre-sale for the next year as well okay for for 119 pre-sale and uh he has a whole bunch of sell items i'll go here real quick and then his video is going to end but he's got a whole bunch of stuff he's got an eagle now check this out oh, yeah i wanted to show you this a 2000 this is this is insane i'm not blaming him i'm with him on this one let me tell you, I gotta be the next Mike Maloney. I'm doing it wrong. Watch this. Thirty-two dollars practically. White silver's in sixteen dollars. Double the price of spot. Five people already bought that. Five people. I already paid thirty-two dollars. Oof. What's gonna happen? When silver goes to eight dollars, twelve dollars. And people pay $32 for the coin. And it has paid 60% more than what's worth. <laughs> 70%. Who knows? Maybe it'll go up to $32 by the time they get in their hands. You never know at silver prices. They're, they're, they are very strange. So they, uh, they do bounce up and down very, very quickly at times in history, as we know. But really, that's about it. I mean, he has a whole bunch of stuff here. A um, few stuff that were kind of cool. You know, such if you want to get the wife something, you never know. So, or something around your house, kitchen, kid stuff, all that stuff, man. He's got plenty of stuff here. So check out his site. I told him I would promote him for being a really good guy and very hard to find decent people that are good, good hearted, that actually are honest and not just run away with something. Because by law, I'm pretty sure he probably got it and there's probably nothing I could really do without really doing very much my mistake i gave it to him i don't know don't know about law i wasn't into that but he was a real good guy and i appreciate that thanks frank a lot um here's your promotion and thanks a lot and um, we just may not we may just see each other again and uh so that's it everybody for a little bit more for my stacking i, I got a few more unboxings on the way i was ho i was hoping for more to come but just didn't quite happen yet and uh Got some bigger ones and then bigger ones and even more bigger ones coming. So, uh, like you know, I just sold another 2000 Tatmex and I still got another uh, $1,000 on my PayPal still for me to play with. So, I'm mixing and buying here and there and it's all going to be Lunar. Nothing else. Until, like I said, it's $8 silver. Then I'll, then I'll hop back on the boat again. Until then, it's all something that appreciates in value. And I'll talk more about this in my next video for newcomers and, uh, and take it from there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, as always, enjoy your comments and your knowledge and everything. So I'm looking forward to some more. Thank you and have a great day.